Namaste and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. In this video, we are going to discuss on delayed liquefaction of sperm. And uh, what is delayed liquefaction? So, and you know what happens basically, you know, for some patients, you know, when they, you know, do a semen analysis, you know, they note that the liquefaction time, you know, which is one of the parameters in a semen analysis report, they note the semen liquefaction time is prolonged, that it's greater than one hour. Now, normally the semen, you know, usually liquefies or the liquefaction time of sperm or semen is usually, you know, less than 20 minutes or somewhere between 20 to 30 minutes. Now, when it is prolonged beyond an hour, the sample is said to, you know, actually have what is called as delayed liquefaction of semen. And what happens basically with the delayed liquefaction of semen is that the sperms do not gain motility. And the sometimes in samples that shows delayed, delayed, delayed liquefaction, the sperm motility is sometimes usually low. So the important thing to bear in mind here is that if you do a semen analysis and if you have the semen and the semen analysis report comes back stating that you have delayed liquefaction, delayed, delayed liquefaction of sperm, what you should basically do is just retest the semen analysis report in a separate laboratory or in a different andrology laboratory. And what frequently, clinically what we usually see is that when you repeat the test, sometimes you know the, the, the pathology of delayed liquefaction is usually not there. Now, is there any medical therapy to kind of you know treat delayed liquefaction? Yes, there have been there are drugs which you know which are which have been prescribed, but clinically none of them have been actually been proven to be effective. Usually, changing the food habit and lifestyle changes, you know, taking in more water, usually you know kind of you know helps you know control uh, yeah. control and account for delayed liquefaction. I've done this, you know, I've treated a lot of patients who suffer from delayed liquefaction of sperm with you know simple dietary changes and uh, increasing the fluid intake and very very simple lifestyle changes. And uh, here's another point to, you know, actually bear in mind because, you know, if there's delayed liquefaction of sperm, what it actually indicates, you know, from a clinical perspective is that, see, semen is basically made out of fluid secretions from three different organs, three to four organs, right? Male accessory sex glands. So if you look at the image on the right, you know, semen is basically, you know, made out of fluid contribution from the prostate, the semen vesicle, as well as the epidermis, as well as testicular fluid. So I've marked that on the right side, on the image on the right. Now it's the prostatic proteases, that is the prostate secretion that basically causes the semen to liquefy. So semen on ejaculation is basically a gel, you know, it forms a jelly-like structure. And basically it's the prostate, prostatic proteases, you know, which are enzymes which breaks down the semen and then makes it liquid. So what basically happens is on the on when prostatic when prostatic proteases are inadequate, or if there's an imbalance in the secretion of the accessory sex glands, basically what happens is there's going to be delayed liquefaction of sperm. So please remember delayed liquefaction of sperm is not basically a problem. It's not a major pathology, but if you note it in all your semen analysis report, you should visit an andrologist near you and consider, you know, simple lifestyle uh, treatment strategies which can basically, you know, improve your hydration status, you know, and restore the balance between your male accessory sex gland production. And that is the treatment strategy for delayed liquefaction of sperm. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Dr. Shah. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll be making a lot of videos. I know there's been quite some gap between the videos that will be between me publishing videos regularly. So keep watching the space for more. This is Dr. Shah signing off for now. Bye.